Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. I've got three techniques for you today, and the first is a halo there. You first saw Halo. Were you blinded by its majesty? Next is the internet's favorite way to burn my back, the angel roll. You know what? Be afraid! And the devil roll, which is so named because its flow pattern is the antithesis of an angel. Believe it or not, there is a universal force that surrounds us, it penetrates us, it binds the galaxy together. The force. The force. The force. The force. The force. The force. So gravity. In our reality, gravity in the same way can be harnessed through patience and balance. It's not about lifting rocks. Quickly, I'd like to shout out Saberflux Workshop. The LED contact swords that I use are handmade with love and the force by one of the best sabersmiths left in the galaxy. Visit saberflux.com for more info. That being said, every lightsaber technique performed in my videos can be done with any stick with a balance point. No Jedi would teach you these techniques, but fortunately for you... I am no Jedi. The first technique has already been circling on repeat, infinitely. They call it Halo. You know, if I had a nickel for every space-based fantasy series about interplanetary conflict that used iconic energy-based blade weapons... I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice, right? Halo is a fairly simple trick to get the hang of. Choose your grip position and find your balance point and you're ready to begin. Using your elbow as a hinge point, place the balance point a few fingers below where your shoulder blade connects to your neck. The momentum will carry the opposite side up and the key to getting it to come down where you want it to, the waist twist is ever so slight but it's important because without it it looks like this. By twisting your waist at just the right point, which is when the saber is above your head, its momentum traps it into a path down your other shoulder blade. And depending how hard you threw it, it'll go up your other arm too, looking like a one-winged angel. Once you get the hang of the halo, the next step is asking a disguised queen if she's an angel. What? You can find incredibly detailed tutorials by Spinning Spades, Michelle C. Smith, and Saberflux. But in the cards are links to more of my videos because YouTube apparently likes session watch time. <laughs> Performing an angel roll is complex, but it is incredibly satisfying to execute properly. The complexity comes from three separate, yet simultaneously executed actions that set up the momentum as well as a waist twist like the halo trick before. The first two actions happen at the same time, and that's a end over end balance point rotation, as well as a internal axis twist. Then a split second later, you're tossing the balance point towards your elbow crotch area, also known as the crook of your arm or the antecubital fossa, depending on how educated you are. I'm smart and I want respect! Seriously though, go check out some other people's tutorials on this trick because you can always learn. From a certain point of view. A certain point of view? The third technique is called a devil roll, which sounds a lot like Deveronian. They both look a lot like something that would instantly chop your head off. Start by gripping the hill with the middle and the ring finger straddling the balance point. In reverse grip with the palm facing forward. Wait a minute, is that Ray? Now like the angel roll, rotate the saber around the balance point. However, instead of being parallel to your shoulder line, rotate the saber perpendicular to your shoulder line. The momentum will carry the blade up and gravity will take it back down and the path and pattern will create a petal shape. I'm no pro, so once again, go find tutorials from some of the greats like Michelle C. Smith for the in-depth minutia that I can't think of. But I've only been at this for a little over a year at the time of publishing, so if you train like I did, a Jedi, you may yet be. Ahead of you a difficult path, there is Padawan. 